Going to Joshua Tree in the month of May is, in a few words, a bad idea. When we arrived to 29 Palms, which is the town where we stayed in, it was simply way too hot. Until the aircon started working, we just had to go to a cafe. Later on, we got a nice breeze, and as we were heading back to the flat, we witnessed one of the prettiest sunsets I have ever seen. The only chance I had to climb anything in less than 30 degrees was if I woke up very early, just like going to the peak. After having breakfast with the sunrise creeping in, we drove to one of the main areas, the Hidden Valley Campground. Now over to me introducing you to the boulder I was intending to climb. All right, so today I'm in Joshua Tree uh, and today is going to be one of the last climbing days. I don't know if it's going to be the last one or perhaps we'll do a short session tomorrow as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy to be here. It's hard to believe. Uh, and I'm going to be trying caveman, which is a really, really classic uh, problem of the area. Uh, it is a 3D climbing um, problem. Uh, this is the end of it, which is a V2 or V3 problem. It starts over there and finishes here. But the real problem starts on the other side of this cave. Uh, and yeah, I think it's a rather long problem, uh, quite beta dependent, but we have all day, so hopefully it will go. As I wasn't warmed up at all, I thought I would try it section by section instead of trying to flash it. And thank God I did this, as it didn't take me long to find a stop and move right at the beginning. No, I can't, I can't do that. The problem felt brutal for V7. To me, in fact, that move alone felt like a V7. But I guess it is the kind of move that has always been my nemesis. Alright, so the original version of Caveman uh, is feeling impossible. It has this move at the beginning where I have to stand and do like a intensive uh, shoulder move. That's actually my uh, biggest uh, weakness. Uh, so I'm gonna try doing an, another variation that goes up instead. Uh, I'll just try the first few moves so they're quite joggy. Uh, so I'm gonna start uh, working out the beta for the upper version instead. After finding all the hidden jugs in this upper variation, I ticked off this section and moved on to the next one, which involves traversing towards the arch and linking with the final V2 problem. Despite it being in the shades, I was sweating like a pig and I was lacking good beta to do this part. I did get to what it seemed to me like the last move of the traverse before getting into the V2, but in reality I was getting restless and powered out. It would have been amazing having someone experiencing the boulder giving me some pointers, 
but I felt like I was wasting my time and only getting frustrated. So before I felt the need to kick my chalk back into the oblivion, I moved on and we tried some other fan boulders while it wasn't too hot. I got totally shut down in Caveman. Um, I tried this other variation that goes uh, up instead of down. Uh, and I could do those moves, but then I couldn't do the cracks moves. Uh, and because I'm only here for a day, I think I might as well just move on and try some other stuff. So I'm gonna try these little block in here, which is a classic V3. I think it's called Undertow uh, and yeah, looks like a really cool uh, and fun climb, so let's see how it climbs. There is still one more video from this US series coming out soon. I do actually climb a boulder then, and it is by far my best effort of all the trip, so stay tuned. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to support my work. See you guys soon.